Okay, you have a uh, lower class limit of 30,000. This is a lower class limit of the first class, lower class of the second, lower class limit of the third class, lower class limit of the fourth class. Now here's how you do it. You start out with the lower class of the first class, 30,000, and then you add 6,000 each time. 30,000, 36,000, 42,000, 48,000. Now, the upper class limits, here's how you're going to get this. You're going to look at the level of precision of the data. Notice all of these data points are reported to the nearest whole number. So the gap is going to be 1. So you take 36,000 minus 1 is 35,999. And then from this point, you add 6,000 each time. 35,999 plus 6,000 is 41,999 plus 6,000, 47,999 plus 6,053.999. That's how you get it. Now, if this was 40,297.1, then the level of precision of the data would be to the nearest tenth, and the gap would be 0.1. And so you would take 36,000.1 and the upper class limit would be 35,999.9. Okay, so the gap is based on the, if this was 297.46, 41,000.87.22, and the gap would be 0.01 and so on and so forth. Now, once you get the lower and upper class limits, now you can uh, use StatCrunch. So we'll do uh, copy open table, open in StatCrunch. And we're going to do a, uh, a histogram. We're going to click the variable. And then we're going to do a frequency. Okay. And the start, the bins, we're going to start at 30,000. And the bin width is 6,000. And that's all you have to do. And you want the value above the bar. So we'll click compute. And there we have it. 11, we have 13, 11, 0, and 1. 13, 11, 0, and 1. 13, 11, 0, and 1. And that's all there is to it. Hope this helps. See you next time.